A new poll from Florida Atlantic University shows Hillary Clinton leads Donald Trump 46 to 43 among Florida voters. Today, she was in Tampa looking for more votes. Our Alan Cohn was there as he spoke with a journalist and a party insider in this discussion. Joining us for our roundtable is Mitch Perry from FloridaPolitics.com and Alan Clendenin, and the vice chairman of the Florida Democratic Party. Here's the first question, folks. There's been a lot of stories over the last day or so involving the escalating premiums for Obamacare. At this stage, is this going to have any kind of impact in terms of Florida voters, Mitch? It could. I mean, again, there's only a small universe of people who, who don't, aren't committed right now, but it's it's a definitely a gift for Republicans like Donald Trump, like Marco Rubio, if they can exploit it correctly. Now, Trump talked about this yesterday, and yeah, I think he said something about his own employees are struggling, and then he said like 10 minutes later, oh, you know, his employees are actually got, you know, health care through his company, so they're not on the ACA. So I don't know if he's if he can expo use that, but any, any type of thing that's a legitimate policy issue, that's as legitimate as it gets, should be something that could help out those ways wavering, undecided voters that maybe choose against the Obama slash Clinton administration. Alan, what do you make out of the recent polls, the new Bloomberg poll came out today, showing that uh, Trump is up by a couple of points. You have long talked about the strength of the Clinton ga uh, ground game here in Florida. What's going on here? Well, one, one poll does, doesn't really mean much. What, you look at, what I look for when I look at polls is trends in polling. And what we've seen for months and months and months is a trend line that favors Democrats from the bottom of the ticket all the way to the top. So it, I, I suspect that another week we'll see this as an outlier. This, isn't, this poll doesn't really mean much because when you plot this out I mean, against every other poll that we've seen, uh, Democrats are doing very, very well, not just in Hillsborough County, but across the state of Florida. Well, I would just say this, excuse me, Alan, I would just say, though, um, that, in fact, there's another poll out today, Florida Atlantic University poll, that has uh, Clinton up by only by three, whereas two weeks ago they had her up by six. So it maybe not so much an outlier. Maybe there is some consolidating of these polls, which basically had shown her up by four points. Now the real clear average of politics is down to two, you know, based on these couple of polls. You know, now, so. But the, the reality is, is we've always known this is going to be a close election, and Florida is always going to be a close election. People go to their corners. So a lot of these, you know, these ridiculous polls where we've seen double digit stuff, that none of us believe that. But again, the trend, the trend is in favor of the Democratic Party and Hillary Clinton becoming president of the United States. So yeah, I, I, I agree that we're gonna start seeing some of that consolidation, but again, it's gonna be close. And that's why it's important and why Hillary Clinton is here today and why she was in South Florida is to make sure that people know they have to turn out to vote. Every vote matters. So we can't take anything for granted. Everybody has to vote. What do you make, and a lot of uh, Trump supporters say this, look at the, the size of the comparative crowds. You had almost 10,000 the other night at the amphitheater for Donald Trump. They like to uh, boast that their crowds are bigger than Hillary's crowds, which means that there's more enthusiasm going for him. Well, you have a small amount of enthusiasm amongst a group of folks, but the reality is Mitt Romney had the same phenomena. We had huge crowds for, the, for those rallies. Uh, what we're seeing right now with Hillary Clinton, again, is, as Mitch pointed out, it's a consolidation of, of supporters, and I think that what we're seeing here today, this is an amazing crowd uh, for a, middle, a work day in the afternoon in Tampa, Florida. Uh, there's a lot of excitement. There always has been. Those people that have been around Tampa know that even back in the early 90s for the Clintons, she's very popular in this area. She's very popular in, in 08. She's, been, she's popular today. She's going to really do well in the Tampa area. And, and Mitch, finally, the, the polls show that there is a, a disappearing number of undecideds out there. Yeah. So who are they trying to move? The base, I would think, you know, you really, you know, really just bring the mixture again. As Alan said, bring your people home, as it were, uh, because people are voting today, right? Second day or third day now of early voting, and uh, Democrats are feeling good about what they're getting with that early vote so far right now. So that's what they're trying to do: bring all these people, make sure to go to the polls right after they see this event today. Okay, Mitch, Alan, thanks for joining us, and we'll be back in just a moment.